1822. Using the recently discovered Rosetta Stone as a key, European scholars are finally able to decipher the hieroglyphic inscriptions on the statues and tomb walls that archaeologists have been uncovering in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. Finally able to identify the ancient kings and pharaohs. But one is a puzzle. A pharaoh depicted like all the other pharaohs as male, but identified in inscriptions as a woman. This was Hatshepsut. She had come to the Egyptian throne around 1493 BC as the wife of the pharaoh Thutmose II. When he died, power passed to his nephew, Thutmose III, only a child at the time. Hatshepsut was named regent to handle government affairs until Thutmose III was old enough to rule. Hatshepsut was regent for seven years, then did something unprecedented. In 1479 BC, the queen declared herself king. Officially, she and the still young Thutmose III were co-rulers, but in practice, Hatshepsut was pharaoh. To establish her authority, Egyptologists say Hatshepsut adopted the full insignia and regalia of a pharaoh, including fake beard, headdress, and kilt. To show that she was strong enough to intervene with the gods on her subjects' behalf, Hatshepsut often had herself depicted as a muscular male. Hatshepsut also did what previous pharaohs had done. She built great monuments, including a huge memorial temple to herself. Deir al-Bari, one of the architectural wonders of the ancient world. Part of it can still be seen today. So can one of the two red granite obelisks Hatshepsut installed at the Temple of Amun in Karnak. Like her fellow pharaohs, Hatshepsut also expanded Egypt's reach and power, not with military campaigns, but through trading and commerce. She sent an expedition to the land of Punt, what some historians believe is now Ethiopia or Eritrea. The ships returned with ebony and ivory, gold, leopard skins, incense, and myrrh trees. Hatshepsut ruled Egypt as pharaoh for 20 years of relative peace and prosperity. She died in early 1458 BC. DNA testing is being done on a mummy identified as Hatshepsut's, but the cause of her death is unknown. So are the reasons for this the deliberate smashing and defacing about 20 years after her death of her statues, her images, and inscriptions that mention her. All were destroyed on orders of her nephew Thutmose III, who succeeded Hatshepsut as pharaoh. Early Egyptologists saw the destruction as the new pharaoh's jealous act of revenge against a power-grabbing ant. More recent scholars think Thutmose III was trying to rewrite history to show an unbroken line of male pharaohs, to secure succession for his own son, and remove any public record that might inspire other women to seek the pharaoh's throne. No woman in the ancient world would equal Hatshepsut's power and achievement until Cleopatra, 14 centuries later.